A couple years ago, I did a review of what I called astronaut food. It was a commercially packaged beef stew meal that was basically a bunch of freeze-dried stuff. And I did want to clarify that I realized that this stuff isn't true astronaut food. An astronaut wouldn't get receive that other meal or this in outer space. And this is more like something for kids to get an idea of what astronauts eat. And it's more of a fun thing than anything. It's not, nothing scientific. I don't know what else I can say about it. This is basically just, just for fun. And I decided to do a follow-up video because we had the beef stew dinner and I figured we should have some dessert too. So a while back, I was at the Museum of Science with my daughters. Museum of Science in Boston. And in the gift shop, without them seeing it, I got a couple astronaut ice cream packages. We have an ice cream sandwich and a mint chocolate chip ice cream. These obviously are freeze dried. Unfortunately, these things always are crumbled. They, they come in like a little bar, but when you go to the gift shop, it seems like somebody walking through has to just has to smash all of them. So I tried to find the best ones I could. This one doesn't seem to be too bad, the ice cream sandwich. We'll, we'll see in a second. Anyway, it says, enjoy your ice cream just as the astronauts do, the freeze dried way. Astronaut ice cream, as well as other freeze dried food items, have been aboard space missions since the early Mercury missions. They continue to be used on NASA missions today. These are the ingredients for the ice cream sandwich. And the nutritional information. It's a good amount of fat in here. Saturated fat, 22%. And here's the mint chocolate chip ice cream. A little explanation here in the ingredients. And the nutrition facts on this. Even more fat in this one, 25% of your daily value. Now comes the fun part where you actually see what's in here. I'm going to start with this one just because I know this is pretty smashed, smashed up and I want to see what it looks like. A few little crumbs in there. It's in this little, almost like a, what sometimes you find real ice cream coming in. You know, it smells sort of like ice cream, but you know what? It really smells like the um, a cardboard box of ice cream. You know when you finish the ice cream and you get the box? That's pretty much what it smells like. This is the mint chocolate chip ice cream. Let me give this a taste before the experts come out. That's interesting. Not quite as flavorful as regular ice cream. But it's not bad. It certainly tastes like ice cream. Just uh, not exactly the same, as you can imagine. Now we'll check out the ice cream sandwich. This is on little bag too. It's funny, they're in the bags, but the bags are actually sliced. They're not actually sealed up or anything like that. Oh, I almost thought this was in one piece, but not quite. Certainly resembles an ice cream sandwich. The cookie part, sandwich part, whatever you want to call it, does um, looks a lot like uh, what you'd expect. And the ice cream is just like vanilla ice cream. It looks like it, but obviously it's not cold and it's not wet. It's not melting. Try this out. Kind of a strange sensation biting into it. The ice cream itself is a lot crunchier than the, the cookie. I mean, the cookie part or wafer, whatever you want to call it, it's probably pretty easy to freeze dry. It's, it doesn't really change much. 
The ice cream has a big change, obviously. But uh, once you start chewing it, it has a very familiar ice cream sandwich taste. The mixing of the ice cream and the, mostly the wafer. There really isn't a lot of flavor on the ice cream. Maybe a little bit more if you uh, let it melt in your mouth a little bit before you eat it. But now I think it's time to let the experts in on the action. Let's call the astronauts in. Okay, I'm gonna try one of those first. Which one do you want to try? You want chocolate chip? Or just yeah. Okay. It tastes like ice cream. Does it? it tastes good. It tastes awesome. It tastes like ice cream. But it's like it's like frozen because it's so hard. Is there anything bad about That's it? Crunchy. No. Oh, cool. Ah. <laughs> yeah. I don't taste bad. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, you doing the ice cream sandwich? Okay. Yeah. It looks like an actual cracker. It's it's not like the other ice cream sandwiches because uh, it's crunchier, like I said before. Oh, uh, it's full. It's good. What do you think of the sandwich? It's good. Which one? Which one do you like the best? I I so, like both. You like both? Do you like one better than the other though? Mm, this one. The sandwich? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How about you? I disagree with Viola. Oh, yeah? I like the ice cream better, but I do like the sandwich too because they're both a big thumbs up, and it makes me thirsty. I drink. I want milk. Would you rather have this or regular ice cream? Uh, well, it's hard, really hard to decide, but I'd probably take this one because it doesn't melt. I like the other and one because it melts. You'd rather, you'd rather have regular ice cream? If it doesn't melt, um, you, could, you could save it a long time, for a long time, and then you can eat it. It's true. It's yummy. And you prefer regular ice cream? You prefer regular ice cream? Okay, let's try some regular ice cream and see how it compares. It melted! <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> melted so it must be. Yay! It looks different. And. Yeah, I still like this more. Really? Yeah. yeah, but ice cream I do like, but I like this more. Mm -hmm. I like this uh, more. I like this more. Okay. <laughs> 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 